Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what it does. Looks like we get a green light in the charger, an orange light in the charger. Um, I think I hear the fan spinning. Let's give it a second, see if it posts. These will take a second sometimes. So I'm just going to give it a second, let it do its own thing. You can see it chimed, and we have no backlight on the screen. And I bet if we were to get a flashlight, we would have an image behind there. So let's go ahead and get our flashlight. and shine it behind the screen and we have an image there so this is a no backlight let's start taking out the bottom case screws and note that one is missing right here looking at the machine at first glance without magnification everything looks really good and clean everything looks unaffected by liquid there's no corrosion that i could see and none of the liquid damage indicators are tripped looks actually pretty clean Notice it has a couple missing screws, or at least one missing screw, probably from someone taking it apart before. So let's go ahead and take the board out and see what we find on the other side of the board. Board is out. Now let's have a look at it under the microscope. Okay, the first area I want to take a look at is going to be the LVDS connector, and everything looks perfectly fine. A lot of times you'll get these uh, backlight pins right over here that are all burned, and this looks perfectly fine. There is no corrosion there. The second thing I'd like to look at is going to be the feedback trace right here. Now, this little thing can evade you. Um, there's a little via right here, and sometimes you'll notice it's all corroded and worn away there and burned. This one's fine, though, so it's most likely fine. So the next area I want to look at is going to be the backlight driver on the other side of the board. So our backlight driver is going to be right here. And, what do you know, looks perfectly fine. So, there's a few other causes if this isn't corroded. So, what I want to look is the bottom side, and hmm, what do we see here? Corrosion. Come on, focus. Hmm, let me refocus my scope a little bit more. Nice corrosion under there. See that? See that junk under there? That does not belong, so we must fix this. Let's add some flux and remove the old chip. And I think this is why we have no backlight. Look at all that junk under there. That certainly does not belong under that chip. Let's go ahead and clean this up, wick away the old solder, and grab a new chip. This is BGA, so I like the pads to be really flat. Some people prefer the other way to have some solder on them, but I don't. I like these pads to be nice and flat. It's like that. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and clean it up again real quick. And then I want to check something very important. So before putting a new chip on, check uh, continuity to feedback. So this is a DC to DC boost circuit, and it needs to know what it's doing in order to properly send out the right voltage. If it doesn't know what it's doing, then it's not going to work. So I'm going to put my meter in diode mode or continuity mode, and I'm going to check pin 5 right at the corner right here to these two test points. You can see it has continuity there, so we have nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more flux here. By a little bit, I mean a lot. And let's grab our new chip. So this is going to be an LP8550, which may or may not be available in the future. We don't really know. But a suitable alternative to this chip is going to be an LP8552, which is nearly the identical same chip.
This is in place. Since it looks like it had liquid damage, we don't really know it's lurking under anything else, so let's run it through the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, this is after ultrasonic cleaning. You can see the board looks pretty much brand new. There's no more corrosion, obviously. You can see those nice clean solder balls. This is a nice refurbished LP8550 area. There wasn't any corrosion anywhere else either. It looked pretty good. Even the JTAG looked good, and that's pretty rare in this model. Okay, it's all back together. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, one thing to note about these uh, 3437 boards, they, the fan will spin, stop, spin, stop, spin, stop before posting. So I'm going to leave this right here so you guys can see. It's going to spin again. It's going to stop again here shortly. And then it'll spin again, and it should post on this try. So... logo covering the customer's name but you can see backlights working let's wait for it to boot hopefully it does boot there we go progress bar it's gonna boot into recovery yeah it's gonna boot into recovery but fix board fix MacBook